Good afternoon and welcome to a Blind Prime special episode. Yay! It's my third year anniversary! Woo! Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Blind Prime. Happy birthday to me. Okay, that's over with. Uh, I hope all of you out there are having a wonderful day today. I know that, uh, you know, looking at my video of my, my YouTube channel this morning. I'm having a great day. Holy crap. Um, CCS has came through. Oh, that's a, that's a subscriber for you. He, um, he read my comment, uh, or my post that I made on Monday where I was feeling down in the dumps because, uh, I wasn't able, I, I was looking at 790 subscribers and I wasn't able to reach my goal of 1,000. I was looking at it like there's no way I can get more than 200 subscribers in less than then 48 hours there there's just it, it's not happening there's there's no way or not less than 72 hours and, then, and i was like there's no way that's going to happen i i can't do it um so i was feeling down and i was feeling depressed and a few of my subscribers read my my post and they sent me some positive feedback and they helped some, you know pick me back up from the little you know, pit i was digging myself into so i could lay and wallow in it and you know they they, they reminded me that yeah, I may not have accomplished the 1,000 subscriber goal on that day, but what I had accomplished was 796. And what I had accomplished was gathering a lot of subscribers that communicate with me and absolutely love what I do. And that's what I've accomplished. I've accomplished building a community. I, and, you know, however slow, you know, brick by brick, I've been building this thing. And, you know, brick by brick, it's been coming together. So I, they, they reminded me not to, not to be so... Hasty. To slow it down just a bit. You don't need to be so hasty, as the Ogier would say. And you know what happened there? I followed the Ogier's path on this one. You know, I shouldn't be so hasty. You know, I shouldn't, you know, I should should chill out a bit more and relax and realize, you know, it's going to come together because it will come together. And it's going to come together because I keep working at this. And it's going to come together because my viewers keep listening and watching. My viewers keep listening and watching. My subscribers and my fans keep listening and watching. That's a better way to say that sentence. Yeah. Isn't that right, Cream? Isn't that right, Cream? Rawr. Give it to Cream. 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 Cream is just the laziest cat. He won't chew out. So, that's, uh, you know, that was really cool of them. They, uh, the TF Crossroads and, um, Crap. I'm, I'm losing their name. I'm going to have to leave it in the comments or uh, post it as a, um, you know, in the description, the name of the, the other person. But they've been, they've been very helpful to me and they, uh, they're really cool. And there's a few, subs you know, there's a few channels out there that have, you know, given me some help and support this year. And uh, I'd give a couple of them a shout out now. You know, for the 14th Prime, if you haven't checked him out, go check him out. You know, he's, he's given me shout outs in his videos and he's tagged me in a few of them. And I appreciate that 14th Prime. You know, thumbs up to you, mate. Uh, the Drunken Prime, that, that's another Prime you need to be taking a look at. That guy's really fun. And uh, he comes up with some great ideas. And I can't wait to have the chance to meet him at a Transformers convention down the road. Because I'm sure me, me and him are going to get along. Um, there's um, you know, Ghost Prime Reviews. I met him at the uh, TFCon this past year. And that was a pretty cool guy. I met a lot of people at TFCon. You know, Rodimus Primal and... Patriot Prime reviews, and uh, I'll never forget uh, being uh, you know, drinking, I, mean, I was drinking a mojito or something at the uh, at the bar by the pool at TFCon, and you know who should walk in but Drunken Prime, you know, not Drunken Prime, um, Patriot Prime reviews, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And you know, this is this is October, so you know it's 80 degrees outside, and I'm sitting there in pants and a long sleeve shirt because, you know, I'm. I, I am truly committed to Florida now. Uh, you know, I, I can wear a long sleeve shirt in 80 degree weather and find it still a little cold. You know, you get me up to 90 degrees plus and I start feeling happy with myself. It's no longer cold outside. So he's coming down, he's sweating. It's like, oh man, what is up with this heat? I'm like, what are you talking about heat, man? You know, it's a little chilly out here. I almost brought a jacket. And he's like, are you crazy? But no, 
I'm just from Florida. It's just our thing. We deal with this heat. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I, you know, he, he, he had served in the military, so he understood. He'd been over to Afghanistan or Iraq, uh, one of those. And so, um, you know, he he's like, he's drinking ice water. And he's, talking, he's like, I used to be able to handle this heat, but not anymore. Not anymore. I can't do it. I got to go back to the hotel. <laughs> he headed out. He tried. He tried to come outside and enjoy everything with everybody, but he just, he, it was just too hot for him, um, especially for October. He told me he was coming from you know, West Virginia where they were having like 43 degree temperatures and stuff. And I was like, wow, dude. Wow. 43 degrees in October? Are you mad? That's downright freezing. <laughs> That's frigid. So that was fun. It was, it was fun being able to meet quite a few, few people. Um, bumping into random people uh there was this 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 woman that really helped me out during the convention and you know she she really helped me out during the convention that was amazing um you know and, and it, it is cool that was that was the big surprise this year uh the transformers convention was a major surprise for me and it was a major surprise because of the fact that i wasn't expecting it to be as inclusive and as welcoming as it was I've heard stories about it, but you know, people do tell people do tell tall tales. Wow, <laughs> tell tall tales. It's tell tall tales. Okay, so I um I was I was very happy and, and pleasantly surprised by the fact that it, it is a very inclusive convention and it is you know, everyone is there so welcoming. Yeah, they're they're all so helpful. It was it was a lot of fun. I didn't meet a single sour face person. Everyone was just happy to be at a convention like that, and they were they were just all ecstatic and all over the place. It, it was wonderful. You know, I've gone to conventions before, but I never I never experienced a convention with that much positivity. And you know, I've been to blind conventions. And they're nearly oh, there, there ain't near as much positivity in them as there was at TFCon. TFCon wins for pos you know, most positive convention of the year, and I highly recommend going to that, that convention. It, it was good. I, lear I learned a lot. I, I met a lot of people. I did my first panel ever as a kid who went to a lot of conventions. I was, I was over the moon. I was over the moon with the ability that that was, that was my panel. My panel. It's not your panel. It's not your panel. It's my panel. I got a panel. I got to go to the convention. I got to own a room for a few minutes. And I got to, you know, control that room for a few minutes. That was that was cool. That was one of my dreams. You know, being the person that people go to the convention to see, not just a person that goes to the convention to see people. I wanted to be something that someone that somebody goes to see. And that was what happened at TFCon. People came to see me. And that was the accomplishment of a dream of mine. I accomplished a dream this past year. And I couldn't have done it without all of you. I couldn't have done it without this channel. And I thank you all so much for that. This year has been a growing year. We've, we've, we've achieved more subscribers this year than we have in the other years. You know, we've, we've, we've done a lot more growing this year than we've done in the prior two years. And this five-year plan still has two more years ahead of it. What's going to happen next? I don't know. But I do know that you'll be there with me. And I'll be here with you. And we'll, whatever happens, it'll happen to us at the same time. You know, it'll happen to me in this channel, and I'll share it with you. Because I want to share it with you. you you've done a lot of sharing with me, my, my, my subscribers, my listeners, my viewers. You've, you've done a lot of comments, and you've, you've given me a lot of positive feedback. And I've given you positive feedback in return, or at least tried to. And all of those channels out there, you know, I appreciate you. I appreciate all of what you've been doing. And I, I, I like all of you guys, you know, gals. Y'all y'all are just, wow. You know, you got Perspective in doing his best over there on the West Coast, building up a, a fan base and, and doing, doing just a stellar job. Just a stellar job. And you've got, um, who else? Uh, Transformer Slag podcast. I actually met him at the convention, and he is a cool guy. You know, he's a really nice dude, and that was fun to be able to meet him and you know be able to talk to him. He was really cool. He gave me some good pointers. 
So I appreciate that. And I actually got to meet the designer of alternators. I met the designer of my favorite Transformer series of all time. And then I learned something while I was there that I did not know. My favorite masterpiece of all time is MP01. And who designed it? The guy that designed alternators. And that's why it seems to just work well with the alternators on there. Wow. I just, that was, everything about this year has been amazing. And everything about y'all has been amazing. So thank you. Now, let's get into future business. Um, I, uh, I got an article written for me. Uh, one of my subscribers did that before I get into future business. And CCS has just got an article written for me back uh, you know, on Monday. And that has done a lot to help this channel out as well. I went from 796 subscribers to 990 subscribers. Hmm, pardon me. In less than 48 hours. Or 72 hours, I should say. That, 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 that's cool. That's not happened before. So that was a that was a major growth. Thank you for that article, CCS. That, that that really meant a lot and that helped out a lot. Now future plans. In the future, I plan uh, this time next year, I plan to be at two thousand subscribers. That that is the tentative plan. And this time, I'm not going to get hung up on it like I got hung up on it on Monday. I am just not going to get hung up on it this time. That's the tentative goal: two thousand watch time hours goal. It's five hundred watch time hours. I think we can do it. We're at 400 watch time hours right now on the channel. We can get that 500 watch time hours a year. I'd be happy with 1,000, but let's try for 500 first. And Transformers this year, things to get. I'm getting the HasLab. The HasLab for uh, the uh, the Dragonfly will be coming in at some point this year. I'm going to be getting Clutch and the uh, the, the new G.I. Joe classified um, Warthog style vehicle. That's going to be coming in either February, April, or May, whenever or March, whenever, whenever. Whenever Hasbro decides to ship it, whether it be early or late, you know, they'll, they'll ship it whenever they feel frothy. I'm also going to be getting the Titan Scale Transformer for this year. I've already pre-ordered him because it's an Armada class, and if you know anything about this channel, you know what I've already sworn to do is I, I'm going to buy everything Armada because I love that show. It's just that I did not like those toys. I thought the toys were crap, and you know, everyone to their own. Please don't hate me for that opinion, but that was my opinion when I was like a teenager. I looked at them and went, "Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy alternators instead because alternators are coming out the same time as Armada, and it was really cool. You had your kids collection and your and your adult collection, and I love that. And that's what the Transformers has been doing since then. You know, they got the generations for the adults, and then they have everything else for the kids, and it works out pretty well. And then there's of course the masterpiece collection, but that's that's a different story. Now. The, uh, the for the future, you know, we've got tidal wave coming in. Uh, I am still going to try and find the uh, the nemesis. Uh, I, I I was not able to pick up nemesis last year. There were too many expensive toys. Like a lot of leader classes, I got and a lot uh, all the commander classes, and I, I missed out on uh, nemesis. So here's hoping I can get a nemesis this year, or maybe you know, I hope not next year because you know it's just gonna increase in value next year. So this year's the year to get nemesis. And uh, Tidal Wave, that's going to be the bad part about this year. Last year it was two Commander Classes. This year it's going to be two Titan Scales, I believe, or Titan Class. Uh, I hope I'll be able to make the money. I've got some stuff I want to sell online. I'm going to try and create a store for my channel this year. That's another goal this year is uh, we're going to get a store up and operational. And I hope that all of you can help me out with that. We're going to do things like make t-shirts. I got this fun t-shirt here that I was given as a Christmas present. I don't really like like it too much because it's a really thick thing, but I'm sure we can work with it and get a better t-shirt made that doesn't have a big piece of plastic on your chest. Because in Florida, this is what we call a sweat sink. Um, you know, I just made up that term. Um, this is a sweat sink. And what this means is that um, all your sweat sinks into this thing and it just becomes a very wet, wet thing. As this, this big old picture of the underside of it will get just gather up all your sweat and humidity and then it just sticks to you and you have to peel it off and it, ugh, it's terrible uh these are not good shirts for humid temperatures and humid environments but i love the image on it and i hope you do too and i'm going to get this to be put a different type of um i'm going to get it uh i'm going to get a different type of uh, shirt i'm going to make but try to keep the image the same not do it not so thick as this is and um, so I've got a few other things I intend to try and sell on there. 
and I um, hopefully you know y'all can uh, join me on that. I'm gonna sell some of my older transformers, some of the things I've reviewed on this channel that I don't want to keep in my collection and just want to move, you know, pass along, move on to another collector. Uh, that that's going to be the goal of my shop is just to try and pass things on to other people who may appreciate it more than me. But uh, I have blathered on for long enough today, and my ice cream just died, so I can't even do my my zappity zap thing and click the button and say goodbye. So I'm gonna grab this up, and uh, so please excuse the uh, the focus of this of the movement. So picking it up all the way off of the camera stand. I don't know if you've ever seen the camera stand. There you go. Look at that. There's my camera stand. Made it out of Lego. I've got a I've got this adjuster in it. I made it there for horizontal, back there for vertical. And then I got this little piece here. This is for the vertical. I can pull this off and I'm going to switch it over here. Slide this over. One handed, it's a little difficult. So we can just slide that around a bit. There we go. And now we can take this little bar here that I have and line up the bar with the center of this. Is the bar lined up in the center? Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. Yeah, lined it up all right. Now we got to fix the horizontal, uh, the vertical, and switch it to horizontal mode. And that is how we, uh, and that, that's how I record my videos. It's my little recording stand. Look at that. You got, it's a little cave that I built, and it's a perfect height. And there's a sleeping cream right there. Yeah, hey cream. You want to say hi to the camera? Hmm? You know, who's just a sleepy guy? Yeah? Okay. And finally, before I let you guys go, let's take a look at the room here. Here is my core class collection. I discovered the Studio Series 80, oh, not the Studio Series 86, the Studio Series um, Devastator is very, uh, it fit more in the core class Transformers scale than um, anything else. I don't have the Bulldozer or the, or the Cement Truck because I have... I put those away. I don't like them. So uh, everybody else is here, though, because they just work well with each other. The bulldozer and the cement truck are the ones that break the um, the size scaling. Uh, if they were just a little bit, you know, if they changed what they were, maybe it would work out better. But there's, a, uh, there's where Death Source lives now and his massive Decepticon army. I'm just beating the crap out of a few Autobots in there. And, uh, yeah. That's just about it. There's my blue cabinet over there where I keep uh, some other Transformers. It's a little bit of a mess because I'm uh, just kind of a messy guy sometimes. And here's some stuff I'm going to be covering in the next couple of days. i got some Legos here I want to talk about. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. And please tune into my channel, Blind underscore Prime, where I raise awareness for the blind and the visually impaired through alternative means and methods. Until next Prime, bye-bye for now.